About two months ago, I was invited to speak in Alaska, right in the, the middle of winter in Alaska. And I arrive in Alaska, I'm in Anchorage, I check into my hotel, and usually when you check into a hotel, you give me your credit card, and you get a key. Well, this hotel did something a little different. After I gave them my credit card, they gave me my key, and then they handed me two chocolate bars. So I said to the lady at the front desk, I said, no matter what happens, you could turn off the heat in my room, and I'm in Alaska in the middle of winter, I'll still give you excellent evaluations. And I even did have a problem. The second day, the, the iron broke and it poured water all over my suit pants. It took about 20 minutes to dry them with my hair dryer, but I finally got them clean. I called them up and I said, don't worry, you'll still get excellent evaluations because you gave me chocolate. Now you're probably thinking, what does that have to do with communicating with patients, with patient satisfaction? It actually has everything to do with the topic. Because when we go to a hotel, we expect just to get a key back. But what they did is they exceeded my expectations. So they went from meeting my expectations to exceeding my expectations. And how this fits into healthcare, uh, a lot of the hospitals I work with, I know this, the different departments and the different centers in the hospital. So when people come up to me and they see me wearing a badge and they're asking me directions, meeting expectations would, say, would be saying something like, okay, you go down the hall here, you get to the end of the hall, you make a right, you go on the elevator, hit level two, as soon as you get out, you make a right and you're there. But what I do is I escort them. I say, I'll take you there. That's exceeding expectations. Meeting expectations is pointing, exceeding expectations is escorting them. One other example, when patients are in the hospital or they're seeing an outpatient practice and it's their birthday, they don't expect anyone to remember it's their birthday. However, if you glance down and you see it's their birthday and wish them happy birthday, then we're moving from meeting expectations to exceeding expectations. Because I've coached a lot of physicians where the patient walked in and said, it's my birthday. And I don't think they were expecting a big cake, but they just wanted some acknowledgement. And I've, I've been to uh, my doctor's office on my birthday, had a lot of tests, and I even had people actually verifying the date, which was today's date, my birthday. I was waiting for someone to say, happy birthday, and nothing. And it's just one of those things, meeting expectations is not noticing it's their birthday, exceeding expectations, noticing it's their birthday. And what signposting is all about, if you go out on the street, you'll see a post, it'll have a sign like this, and it will have a street name. And what that does, it gives us directions. And that's what patients want, and it's rated very highly in surveys, they want direction. And the typical signposting would be, is you walk in to see a patient, let's say, a hospitalized patient, you walk in and you say, today we're going to talk about you know, what's bothering you, then I'm going to do a brief physical exam, and then we'll talk about some treatment options. So it's just a matter of telling them what's happening. And to give you an example, there was one patient I was talking to at a hospital I do some work with, and we were both doing the valet parking, and I was chatting with her. I always chat with patients when I work with hospitals, get a flavor of what's going on. And she was smiling and I asked her how she's doing. And she says, well, my daughter was in the emergency department today. She was there about five hours. And I said, I noticed you're smiling. It sounds like you had a, a good experience. What made the experience good for you? She says, there were two things that I really liked is the doctors and the nurses were very nice to me. I noticed she said doctors and nurses because patients only see two types of professionals in a healthcare setting. Doctors and nurses. If you're not a doctor, you're a nurse. So everyone who, dietitians, social workers, everyone else is a nurse. And then she said something also to me. She said, I like the fact every half hour or 45 minutes they would come in and say, it'll be about another half hour. We'll have the results in another 15 minutes. We'll have the results in another 20 minutes. So they constantly kept us up to date. And that's what signposting is. So think about the first time you see someone just to give them an overview of their experience with you. And that's called signposting. And I just want to spend a moment 